Hey, what's up, you guys? KMG here, doing a Lego Ninjago Criterion. Hold on. Alright, hey, what's up, you guys? KMG here, doing a another Lego set review. And I am doing 70591. 70591. It says ages 6 to 14. It can handle the set. Cryptarian Prison Breakout is the set. And there's 207 pieces. All right, let's review the set. So if I don't have the box like in front of the camera, it's because I've already bought the set a long time ago. And I'm going to be reviewing this set today. The other set that I reviewed, there's no part two. It's just part one. And let's get into reviewing the set. So, from the show, I don't remember what episode, but it's season six. And they're trying to find Soto's map to Tiger Widow Island. And let's review. This set comes with five different characters. The prison guard, up here, prison guard. Zane. Zane with this is the first set you get his titanium hairpiece. The giant stone warrior or I think Cryptor. And Soto with his peg leg. Now the character I'm going to review first will be the prison guard because he's just a standard let me take him off of here I don't know if you saw me or not but anyway right here is a standard prison guard and it's just one from like Lego City he's got a normal coffee mug he's got you know a standard prison suit with his with his hat here, this hat here, and his head. That's a normal head I've seen on many different prison guards. Oh, geez. And that's basically it for the prison guard. You know, holding his coffee mug, you know, kind of like this, reminds me of one of those prison guards that just is lazy and sleeps and drinks coffee. The one that doesn't care to do their job. There are prison guards like that, I assume. I don't know. But, I'm gonna review... The next character I'll review is Soto. This is Captain Soto. He is great, in my opinion. But they got one thing wrong. Can you notice it? It's his brown hand. That is 100% inaccurate. So I'm going to take that off. I don't have any hooks. But if I get a hook from like a set or something, I'll put it on his, his where it's supposed to go. So that's Soto. I'm going to keep his brown hand on for now though until I can might be able to get a hook. I'm really excited to review the Season 7 sets. So he's got a peg leg, which is really cool. And I remember in like Season 2, Episode I think 3, is called Ninja vs. Pirates. Where Jay broke open a gumball machine. And because of his peg leg, he could stand and the gumballs wouldn't make him fall over. But... I'm a huge fan of Ninjago, so I love these figures. Like some some of the rarest figures you can get. I don't even I like Ninjago, but I don't have many sets. That's okay though. So he's got this normal prison outfit. Like basically every other prison guy I've seen. He's got his pirate hat with his removable feather. And I'm not nope. Drop it here. I'm not going to talk about Ninjago. 
unless you guys leave in a comment say that you want me to. There's his head without his pirate hat. That's what he looks like. So I was thinking, like I mentioned in my last review, there's this guy I watch. Amazing Figures and Bricks, or Amazing Bricks and Figures. One of the two names. But, um, I'm going to do reviews like he does. But instead, I'm going to do one review where I just review, like, a normal review. And I'm going to do the other review how he does them. Like, he plays with them. Because it's fun, and I love watching him do that. So he inspired me to do reviews. I'm going to try and shout out and everyone give him a shout out in every single one of the videos. Here is the Giant Stone Warrior, or... I think so I don't this is the helmet of shadows I I don't know for sure but if you take this mouthpiece off that's the helmet of shadows so a stone warrior can control stone warriors that's funny but anyway um he's got hey, let me just remove his helmet I'll fix that later he's got four Wow. Good job, me. He's got a normal red stone warrior head. And I have this I have some of the season two stone warriors and I might show them at a different time. Cause I got the golden dragon set like a long time ago. This is his body without his upper body piece. No, it's just, it's just a normal prison body, you know? He's got four arms. And the thing is about his upper body, because of the way it's molded, like how it is, you cannot put a leg piece on that part. It has to be a head piece. So that's cool. It has to stay like a forearms guy. Next, we're going to review Zane. Hold on. Now, Zane, first of all, his body piece is different. This is where in Ninjago, they open his, the guy, I forgot his name, but he has a mechanical arm. And he opens up Zane's shirt, like, that's why it's open, and he's trying to remove parts of him. And there's actually, well that's cool, there's actually his heart, half of his heart and stuff in there. Let me get focused. He comes with two sets of shurikens, like, together, but I'm making him hold both. He, this is the first one that comes with his titanium hairpiece. He's got the normal titanium Zane head. He's got... This face, or oh, he's got his techno face that you could put on the hairpiece like that. He's got a normal set of black legs. That's all for Zane. I think he is the coolest minifigure of the set, to be honest. I really like him. He's my favorite minifigure of the set. Go on there. There's Kai, is the last mini finger to review. <laughs> and so, this is Kai from season six. He has a symbol on his um, chest like every other person. This Kai has a lion, I think. And he's got his sword holder. He's got two swords. He comes with two swords. He is red. His suit is red, black, and I think a little bit of yellow. Orange. Yellow or orange. It's the normal Scar Kai face. The scars aren't part of the show, but I kind of like them. I don't know why. This is normal head. This is his mask. He's dead. And if you take, I can pop his head off here, and I can remove the sword holder. 
You could put that on any minifigure. That's really cool. I put that on my Lloyd from Season 6. I don't know if I'll review the set I got him out of, but I might. So there's Kai. And I'm going to have to end part one here. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you in part two. Bye.